Hi, I'm Jen Cam, and this is Jen Cam Plays Board Games. Today we're going to be playing The Fox Experiment from Pandasaurus Games. Okay, so I have us all set up for a solo game. So as per my usual, I am going to kind of be explaining while I play. So with that, let's get started. So in the Fox Experiment, we are trying to breed um, the friendliest of the friendliest pups. <laughs> and this game is based on an actual experiment that um, either was or is taking place in Russia. I'm not sure if it's still going. Uh, somebody did tell me that it was, which I just think is really cool. I need to look into that. I need to look into that. If you do know and you know how it's going, let me let me know in the comments below because I'm pretty curious. But we are the first player. So in our selection phase, we are going to do three different turns. We're going to select a female. We're going to select a male. And we're going to um, select our place in the turn tracker. But myself and the AI both have goals for what they are looking for or the qualities that they are looking for for breeding. So we are looking at tail, ears, and bark. Our AI is looking at tails and bark and is really preferring bark. So looking at that, it uh, looks like Yefim is probably going, is going to be safe from the AI. So I don't need to worry about that at the moment. So I think we are going to take uh, Zatika as our first dog or our first fox. And now it is going to go to the AI and we're just going to simply select or flip over a card and they are first going to choose a female and there is only one available for bark. So they are going to put their token there. And since this one's safe, I think we are going to go for the turn track and I'm going to go right here and take this bonus. And this is going to allow me to take two uh, science cards, which can be used as end game scoring points or one per card or in game bonuses. So our first one is after rolling a pup, roll one extra of any of the die. And this one is mark plus one or for the ears for this pup. So we are gonna definitely take those, set those there. Oops, and I didn't finish the AI turn. So the AI is going to place their fox meeple, a fox meeple as well. This was the second half of their turn, my bad. And they're gonna go looking at the arrow. So they are going to place that spot. So they don't get any bonuses from doing that. They just block us from getting that. But it is their turn and they are going to claim a female and a male pup. So since there aren't any female pups left that have the bark trait, we are gonna look at their secondary, which is tail. So they'll claim Laska. And for the males, they are going to take uh, Zabavni? Zabavni? Sure. And it goes back to us. And we will take Yefem. And now it goes back to the AI. And they are going to place their uh, marker for turn and it looks like they will be first in the next round and then they're going to claim their second male pup and they're going to go for this one since it has tied for bark we're going to look at the secondary focus second so that is the end of our selection phase so next we go into the research phase but as of right now we can't do any research we don't have any tokens so we are going to go into the breeding phase so when the ai goes into their breeding phase they're going to first look at the first two foxes and their turn is really simple they are going to mark off how many dice are shown on those cards so for the first one they have so they are going to get three for bark, one, two, three, and one for spots. But they also have this token. So what that means is they're gonna get an extra one marked for their uh, first prioritized trait. So they will get one more here for bark. And now we're gonna see the friendliness. So we're just one, two, three, four, five. So this pup is a friendliness of five. And next we're gonna look at their research. And since they didn't get any for tail, they're not gonna move up on their research track. And the AI is always going to breed two dogs. So we'll set, oh, we need to give him a name. Let's name this one 
Hmm. Let's name him Oscar. He's looking a little grouchy, so we got Oscar. So I'm going to set him aside, and we're going to breed our next pup, and we're going to be looking at these two. So we have one for two for tail. We have one for bark and one for spots. And again, they'll get an extra one for the bark. So that is a friendliness also of five. But more importantly for them, they've reached that first goal. So they have, well, two for tail and two for bark. So that meets that requirement. So they are going to place a fox meeple here and draw another goal card. And we're gonna name this one Pepper. So we got their two done and now we can move on to ours. And that's gonna work a little bit differently. So we are going to look at our two foxes. I'm gonna grab our dice tray and we are actually going to roll for our traits. So I'm gonna grab one die for tail, three for ears and two for bark. And then depending upon the results, we can decide if we want to use one of our science cards, but let's see what we get first. Okay, so, ooh, ooh, okay. So we have quite a few for ears, so that's good. We have one for our bark. We don't have anything for tail, unfortunately, but we do have this die, our friendly die. So I'm gonna place that there. So that's gonna give us the one we need for tail. And it looks like we got a male pup. So as of right now, we have one for tail. We have one, two, three, nice, for ears. One, two, three, and one for bark. Now, do we want to add one, do we want to add anything? So I'm gonna spend that science card and we're gonna add one to ears. And we did reach our first goal here. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this card. And we are going to place a fox meeple right here to show that we did meet that goal. We are also going to get two research tokens for ears. So that's gonna be nice. So we'll be able to research on our next research phase, which will be actually next. And this is a friendliness of six. Not bad for our first round, our first breeding round. So since we have the friendliest pup, we are going to place one of our meeples right here. That's gonna give us two victory points at the end, but the consolation prize for the AI is they're gonna get another one of these tokens. Okay, so we are going to place this token right here. So now they're gonna get um, two extra ones. Oi. So I think we're gonna go ahead and research. And I think we're gonna place this here. This is going to give us an extra one of these die for when we're rolling in our breeding phase. So the first player token is gonna go to the AI now, and we can collect all of our meeples. We are also going to discard these bonuses and place out three more. We don't put anything in that first one. Because, yeah, if you're there, you're going to be first player guaranteed. Ooh, this is going to be two of those tokens. That might be a good one for us to go for. Oh, no, we never named our other pup. Okay, let's name this one Luca. There we go. Okay, so Luca has been named. All of our dogs from our previous round are going to now go into discard piles. So we'll get those cleaned up. And now we're gonna put our pups that we just uh, bred into the market. So this one will go here. We'll put Oscar here and Luca will go here. And now we are going to fill in the rest of the spaces. So the AI is gonna go first. We're gonna flip their card. They are going to select a male and a female. And they are still looking for bark. So Oscar and Tobik have the most for bark. We're only looking at the X's, not the dots. So since it's tied and neither of them have their second choice trait, we're gonna look at the arrow and they are gonna take Tobik. And as for the female pups, there is only one that has bark, so they are going to take Pepper. 
Okay, so back to us. We really want ears and there is only one option and that is Luca. So we will take Luca as our first choice. The AI will now place block on the turn track. So they're gonna go here. So they're not blocking us from any bonuses, at least not yet. And now they are going to place for a female. Their second choice trait is tail. So there's two right now with two dice and they don't care about spots. So we're gonna look at the direction. So they are gonna take Nadia. Back to our turn, I think we're gonna take Yana because she just has the most dice available. And now we're gonna flip for the AI and we get these shuffled real quick. So they are going to take, select their second male and Oscar has the most spark. So we'll go for that. And now they are gonna go for their turn order and they are gonna block us from getting Two of those tokens, I, I debated, I debated. And you know what, it was silly of me. I should have gone there first because since they already had two female pups, uh, Yana wasn't in danger. So I should have gone for a turn order there, but that is okay. Cause we will have first turn next time. And do I want a research token? Ooh, or do I want a science card? I really like science cards. I think though, I'm gonna go for this one. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna take the uh, research token and that is gonna be one for bark. So at least we'll have one, but we are trying to get more. So hopefully we can get more bark. So I only have one token, so I can't move anything on our research track. So we will go into breeding. And first the AI is going to breed a female pup. Okay, so if you could see, this has the same player color, which means these two are siblings. So they are going to try to avoid breeding siblings. So instead, Pepper and Tobik are going to be our first. And we have one for tail, three for bark. So one, two, three, and then one for spots. And of course, now they have two tokens here. So they're gonna add two more, wow. Two more to their bark. Next, we're gonna see if they fulfilled any of the requirements. And they definitely did for level two, but they did not for this card. So at least we're still doing pretty good there. This is gonna be a friendly rating of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, okay. So we're gonna write in seven. Let's name this friendly pup, well, mostly friendly pup, River. And now we can go, uh, do their second pup. So grab another card. And now we are breeding Nadia and Oscar. So Nadia is gonna be two for tail. We have two for bark and one four spots. Now we're gonna add the two for bark for those two tokens. Ooh, that adds up quick. And now we have a friendly score of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They definitely reached the end for there and they completed this one. So since they completed this study, we are going to actually move these tokens here and I'm gonna place this off screen so we can make sure that we score it for in-game scoring. This uh, study card will move over to the side. Let's move this here. But since we completed level one of that one, they're gonna get another study card. And we're gonna name this Pup Shadow. Okay, that was a big turn for the AI. Let's see what we get from Luca and Yuna. Grab our dice tray. And we are gonna get three Dice for tail, two for ears, one for bark, and one for spots. We'll give this a nice big roll. Okay, ooh, we didn't get very good on there. Ooh, but we do have one that we could finish. So we have two for ears, we have two and a half for tail. We didn't get anything, oh man. We didn't get anything for our bark. So we do have the science um, that will let us roll an extra die. So let's see, 
we get this I, and place this one here, I do have enough for the ears to move up on our study card. So let's go ahead and roll for another bark. Okay, so we got one. Okay, that's okay. We're good. We're good. Okay, so we got a female pup with, let's see, one, two, four tail, three, four ears, two for bark and nothing for spot. We will place that in the discard. And that is a friendliness of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think, yeah, we are tied with the AI. And let's name her Lily. Sounds good. So Lily does meet the requirements to move up one space on our study track. We are also going to get a research token for tail. Actually, move this one from before over here as well. We have one for ears and also one for bark. Which is awesome because now we have two for bark. So let's go ahead and spend our two bark because they match. Uh, research tiles and let's place let's go here so we can select three study cards or draw three study cards and select one okay so we have ooh, this one that wants a lot for tail this set is tail and bark and this one that is bark and spot so the ai is looking for now they have a new priority so tails being the most their highest priority with bark being second i'm not sure i want to compete with them if i don't have to or with maybe myself here so let's go for this one here now we're going to look at friendliness since it's both seven we will both place our meeples on the friendliness track and we'll get cleaned up and we can start the next round. Okay, so we now have first turn. I think we are going to take Yuri first for our turn. And now the AI is going to take a male and a female. So none of the males have bark. So they will look at tail. So they'll take this one. And then for female, uh, river and shadow are tied. So they will take river place that there um according to ooh, actually this is upside down it is upside down so they will actually take shadow and i think i am going to go ahead and claim for our turn marker now this i'm going to, we're going to take this one because i want to get the bonus for research tokens for the ears and for bark so that way we have two already for ears and hopefully that means we will be able to breed two pups on our next turn unless we want another dice i'm not sure <laughs> so next it goes back to the ai and they are going to place a meeple on the research track so it's going to go there and they're going to claim a, another female and the same they will claim river back to us we are going to claim lily and for their final turn, they are going to place for turn track and a male. So for the turn track, it's going to go this way. So we will be first player next turn. That's awesome. And it will go here because this is the one that has most dice since none of them have what they need. So since neither of these two have what they are looking for. Okay, so now we can go into the research phase. Now I'm really debating. Do I want to be able to breed two pups or do I want an extra die? Honestly, I think we're going to go for the die. So I'm going to place that here. We'll discard that and I'm going to grab another die. So now we can go into the breeding phase and the AI is first going to breed a male pup. So they're going to have two for tail, two for bark, and one for spots. And now, because they changed their priority, they are going to get two more for tail. And now we can see if they met any of the requirements. They definitely are going to move up here. And they met this requirement as well. So they are going to place that. And now they're going to get a third card. Oh my goodness. Oi. So next. Oops. I can flip it the right way. So for their next pop, oh, let's check our friendliness. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, once again. And now we can go on to the next pup. Keep doing that. I keep pulling from the discard. Okay. So their next pup is going to be another male. 
and it's gonna be one for tail. We have two, two for bark, and three for spots, one, two, three. Oh, we still need to do the bonus for here, so they'll get another two for tail on this pup. Let's name this one Dash. Let's name this one Ziggy. Okay, and Ziggy has a friendliness of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, we have to be eight. And let's see, <laughs> Ziggy will complete that study track. So now this will go here and here. I'm gonna just place this underneath here. That's where we're gonna keep track. Slide these down and Ziggy will move up on that track and also completed this one so they will get another card. They do add up fast, don't they? <laughs> don't they? <laughs> I can talk. Okay, so it is on to us and we have Lily and Yuri and they will give us one die for tail three for ears, one for bark, and two for spots. All right, and let's see what we get. Ooh, so I think we're gonna go with something like this. We're gonna draw our card, and this is going to be a male fox. So we did not get anything for purple. We are gonna mark two for ears, two for bark, and then two for spots. Definitely not the friendliest pup. It's gonna be six friendliness. Let's name this one Max, which is just for the irony of it. But Max did get us one higher on our second study card, so a piece of fox meeple. And then we can grab our research tokens. So we got one for bark, spots, and for ears. So that's good because we can spend the ones for bark. The AI will win for the friendliness, but now this time we both are, I get two of these tokens, which we can use like the dice when we do our breeding phase. And for our research phase, phase I am going to spend these two to place here. So that way next time we can breed two pups instead of one. I will get us cleaned up and we can get started on the next round. Okay, so we are still first player and so we are going to select what we want to do first. I think we are going to take Ziggy as our first choice, honestly, because <laughs> that's five dice that we could work with. So I, I'm a fan of that. So let's see what the AI is gonna do. They are gonna take a female and a male fox. Their priority right now is tail. So for the female, they're going to take Tamara, which was kind of what I was debating because that was the only one female, at least with a uh, tail. But their second choice is going to be, I'm sorry, for their first male choice is going to be Dash. So I already know I'm going to go for Svetlana next, and that is not a priority for them. So I am going to go ahead and place on the turn order track. So I'm going to go right here. That is going to give us an ear research token and another science card, which I absolutely love the idea of having. And this is trade up to two trait tokens of your choice for one of these tokens or vice versa. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to do that right now. I am going to spend this token here to gain an ear and a spots research token. Okay, back to the AI. They are going to choose a female and their turn order, get their cards all shuffled, and we're gonna go here. And so first for the female, they are again looking for tail. We don't have that option. So next they're gonna look for spots. So that is Leica. They will place on the turn order. They're gonna go there. They're not blocking us from anything, so that's good. Um, Cause we already got ours. And next we are going to take, ooh, actually what do we wanna do? This is gonna be really hard to get to. So we are going to take Svetlana 
and we'll go back to the AI and they are going to place their turn token there and they are going to grab Max for their breeding phase. Okay, so now we can go into our research phase. I am going to spend my three ears tokens to move up on the dog breeding. So now we can actually breed three pups each turn. And I'm then also going to spend these two in order to uh, move up on this track. We're gonna grab three more study cards and select one. The reason why I'm doing this is there is this bonus for the end of the game where you can get two points for each one of these that you've at least gotten to the first level of. So if I can get another one, we'll have six points at the end instead of four. And really, <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I think we're gonna go with this one. Um, I feel like no matter which one I'm also kind of working on, it will go well with the rest of them. So I'm gonna place this here. I am running out of space. We will put our parent foxes over here for the moment. And now we can go into the breeding phase. So let's see what the AI is gonna do. They are breeding a male pup. And it looks like Tamara and Dash. So we have one, two, three for purple. We have two for ears, one for bark, one for spots. And right now they have one token here for uh, tail. So we'll mark another one here. And then they also have one here for bark. So I'll move up there as well. So we have a friendliness of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boy. And I'm not feeling we will beat nine, so let's name this Brutus, because that is pretty brutal. And now we can see where they are moving up on their study tracks. So they have one, two, they did not meet that one. They did not meet that one. So they did meet this one, yikes. So they're gonna move up and you guessed it, they are getting a, another card, wow. So let's move Brutus off to the side for right now and see what their second pup is going to be another male. And we are looking at Leica and Max. So we have nothing for tail. We have one for ears two for bark and two for spots and we're going to get the one tail there and one there for bark they did not meet that they definitely will move up on this one they will not for here and they will for this one but now they are actually out of meeple so i'm just gonna grab this one for right now and oh my god they're gonna get another one so that's gonna go there i'm gonna Slide that there, I guess. Place this here. Oh my gosh, I've never had it where they've had it so many. Oh, this is this is a lot. Let's name this handsome fellow Jasper. And their friendliness is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven friendliness for Jasper. So we'll see if we can get to nine, but we get to make three pups now. And we are looking at Ziggy and Svetlana. So we're going to get two dice for tail. None for ears. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. One, two, and three for bark. And two for spots. Yikes. Whew. It's going to be hard to move up on those ones that we need. Uh, ears, isn't it? Oh, bummer. All right. Okay, and let's see what we get. We have a lot. So let me take a quick look at this and we'll see what our results are. So for our first pup, we have a female and she is going to have two for tail. We have nothing for ears, but we have one, two, three, four for bark. Two, three, four. And one, two, three for spots. And we're gonna name her Ava. So that is our first pup. Our second one is also going to be female. So now we are going to roll all of these again and see what we got. And okay, 
Okay, so for this pot, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet, but so for right now we have one, two, four tail. We have none for ears. We have one, two, three for bark and two for spots. I think I'm going to use this one for bark because that'll give us another Actually, it's going to be the same as there, so maybe not. Yep, I think we're going to keep it there. This is going to be a bell. And now we can grab our next card, and it's going to be another female. Grab all of our dice. You know what, though? I forgot that I also have that. Hmm. All right, we'll have to think about that. We might use it. Okay, so for our end result, we have one, two, three for tail. Still no ears, unfortunately. I mean, I guess I could make this ears, but we're not gonna get where we need to be anyway. So we have one, two, three for bark, and we have two for our spots. And now what do we want to do with this one? Let's give one more for tail. And let's name her Lulu. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nice. So she is a friendliness of nine. So we will tie the AI, at least so far. We have Belle, who is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Ava, what do you got? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine as well. Okay, not bad. So when you breed more than one pup, when you are looking at um, your traits to get your research tokens. You don't get them for each pup. You're going to look at them all and see what your highest one for each score is. So Lulu has the most for tails. So we will get two uh, tokens. Obviously we got none for ears, but our highest is two for bark. So we'll grab two of those tokens if I can get them. There we go. And all of them are the same. So we'll get one for spots and now we can go into our research phase again with a few more options but first we need to look at our study cards so we could only move up on one card per okay so each pup can only level up one card so what order do we want to do this in <laughs> well none of them are going to get that so i'm not super worried about it and no one will be able to get the next level here so Let's have Ava move us up one here. So I'm gonna place her to the side since she can't go again. And then we have Belle and Lulu. Oh man, if I planned ahead, I could have used this to do that instead and that would have allowed us to move up on both of them. Bummer. But I did not do that, so we are only moving up on this one. Ah, oh, that was so silly of me. Okay, so we both have nine. So we are going to place our meeples here. They have actually run out of meeples. So we are going to take one of the other player colors, place that there to show that we both reached that level. I am going to get us cleaned up and we can start the final round. Okay, so we still have first turn. Oh, we skipped our research phase at the end. Oh my gosh. Okay, because I have lots of tokens. Let's see. Ooh. Let's use our three tail tokens to go here and allow us to grab three more study cards. And then maybe if we can get to the next level, the first level on one of them, we will have um, eight points So at the end of the game. So that would be nice. Is there anything that we think is going to look the best one to do? Probably not one where I need two. And then for the other ones, I don't think it really matters. So we will go with this one. Place these back under the deck. And yeah, my bad. Totally forgot to do the research on that. Okay, so we are going to go first. Which, what are we really looking for? We need, oh man, there are so few options for, for ears. That's unfortunate. So we have no way of reaching that. That's, I mean, unless we get some really crazy help um, from our like, friendly die. So I think first we are going to take Ava. That is going to be our first choice. 
the AI is going to go and they are going to place a Fox Meeple on the order track. It is going to be here. Eeks, that's scary because I want this for a very specific reason. <laughs> and so next they are going to claim a female fox and they are looking for tail and then spots so yeah they're gonna go for lulu i am oh man i don't know so i want this one so i can get another bark research so that way i can unlock the fourth friendly die but i also don't want to lose out on possibly getting jasper but i think they're going to go for Brutus first. And yeah, I think we want to make sure that we have as many barks as possible. But yeah, they're going to go for Brutus first. So I'm going to go here. We're going to get our next bark research token and a another science card. I moved the discard <laughs> for the tokens because it kept falling over <laughs> and it was driving me nuts. So it is off to the side now. Our next science card is when unlocking upgrades, you may pay for an upgrade with trait tokens that don't match. Ooh, that could be useful. If we have, yeah, that's gonna be useful. Okay, so back to their turn. They are going to grab a male and a female. So the male we know is gonna be Brutus and female is going to be Belle. And now it is back to us and we are going to take Jasper and for their final selection they're not going to take a female because they already have two and for the male they are looking at tail that is into option next they're going to be looking at spots they both have one they'll take Jules bar um, as according to the arrow and they're going to go one more turn and we will see where they place you know what though it's not actually even going to matter because it's the end of the third round or the end of the game, but they would place their token here. So that is the end of our selection phase. I'm gonna move these out of the way because we won't need them anymore. And we can head into the breeding phase. Of course, starting with the AI, they will be breeding, breeding a female pup. And it looks like Lulu and Brutus will be the parents. So they'll get one, two, three, four, four spots for tail. They will get one spot for ears, three spots for bark, and two spots for, I'm sorry, two marks for spots. There we go. So that's a friendliness of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And, okay, and let's name her Rosie. And they did complete, wow, okay. So they completed this one. So this will go here. Oh, I didn't mark their extra ones. Oh gosh. So it is not gonna be a friendliness of 10 because they're gonna get two more spots. So this is going to be one more spot for tail and one more spot for bark. So that is a 12 friendliness. Woo, they will complete this one here, so we're gonna move that here. They get a meeple back, and I'm just gonna place this underneath here to keep track of for later. Slide these down. Move that token, move that there, here we go. Okay, so they are finishing this one as well. Wow. So place this here, this here. Get rid of this one. This is a busy turn for them. Slide these down. Okay, so they're not gonna get anything here. They will move up on this one and not on this one. Oh, thank goodness, golly. All right, so their next pup will be a male and we have Belle and Jules Bar. So Belle will give them one for tail. They have one for ears, two for bark, and two for spots. They will get one for ears from that, and then one for bark for this card. So that is a friendliness of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so friendliness of eight. And how about Sammy? 
and we'll check to see they're not moving up here. They will complete this one. Oh golly. And do, do let's see. One, two. So they will also move up on this one. They would get another card, but they are done breeding, so I am not gonna worry about that right now. But we'll place this under here since that is where we are keeping their completed ones. Whew. So they did one heck of a job on that last that last round. Okay, so we'll see if we can beat 12 for friendliness. That one is worth five points. So we're going to do our best. <laughs> I mean, as always. So we have, we have Jasper and Ava. And do we want to make sure we do? So I'm going to spend for our research that we do before breeding. I'm going to spend that one to get an extra friendly die. So we're rolling four of them now. So we are gonna get two tail. We will get one for ears. We will get four, oh my gosh, for bark and three for spots. So we have quite a few, <laughs> just a few, right? All right, so let's see what we get. I don't even know if I can fit all of these in my hands. Oh my gosh, let's see. Ah, it's so close. All right, let's see. <laughs> Oh, my hands aren't big enough for this. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, I feel like I had to get a little bit creative with that one, but we are breeding a male. And, oh, okay, what do we got here? We have one, two, three, four, tail. For spots, we're gonna go with one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. And for bark, one, two, three, four, five. So we'll go mark one, two, three, four, five. And so did I do five? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, we're gonna do five. And then these two I am gonna do for ears. Let's name this one Zeus. So that's gonna be our first <laughs> of three. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm gonna move uh, Jasper and Ava kind of off to the side here. I am moving all my tokens everywhere. So clean that up a little bit. All right, so we have Zeus. Our next pup is going to be a female. We will grab our dice tray, throw all of these back in. There we go. Oh my gosh, there's just so many. All right, and Let's see what we get. All right, let's see how that plays out. All right, so we are going to give her two for tail. We are gonna do three for ears. And let's see, one, two, three, four for bark. So one, two, three, four. And then we have one, two, three, four, also four spots. So not mad. We are going to name her Ivy. And we'll move her off to the side. Our next pup will be a male. And we will get the dice rolled and see what we get. Okay, let's see. Ooh, we might be able to do some stuff with the um with ears this time around. So let's see. So we have let's see, purples. Okay, so we have two for tails, uh two for Ears, no, that one was so hard to get. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five spots. So just so you know, if you ever get more than there are like spaces, you do get um, a victory point token for end game scoring. But we were so close, but we didn't quite get there. And we have three, four, spots. So that is our third dog, our third fox. My, I'm sorry, my bad. Let's name him Finn. I like that. Okay, so let's check our friendliness. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, we tied them. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's go. 
and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Look at you, Zeus. Let's go. That's awesome. So we will check our study cards and I know that Ivy completed this one. We need to get at least one here so we can get the two points, but I'm not sure if that maths very well. Let's move Ivy out of the way so I don't try to score her again. Make that worth 10. I think we're gonna not worry about this one. So we are going to look at Finn. Finn will move us here. And then Zeus will complete this card so we get the 10 points there. So now that we looked at our study, let's get our tokens. So our highest one for tail is gonna be two. Place those there. We have one for ears. We get the best we could get is the three. That's awesome for our bark. And we get two for spots. Okay, I, I'm okay with this. I am very good with this. All right, so I am going to spend these two. Oh, wait, how do I want to do that? All right, so we are going to spend these two. I'm going to place that one here. So we are going to go to our patrons. So I already know which one I want to do, and I want to do this one. So I'm going to place my uh, fox token there. That will give me another... Um, ear traits. I'm then going to spend these three tokens to go here. That is going to give us another patron. So I am going to place that right here. We'll get a, another science card. And this one says, after rolling a pup, mark plus one on spots to this pup. So we're not going to use that, but it is going to be worth one point at the end of the game. And then I am going to spend this one which allows us to mix and match. So I'm going to spend these five tokens to place this one here and we'll get another patron. And this time we're gonna go here. That gives us one of these that we'll, you might maybe will help us for end game scoring. We will see. And we're gonna check friendliness. So we won that and we can go into final scoring. So for final scoring, we have a handy dandy uh, dry erase sheet here that we are going to use. So first we're gonna look at studies. So we completed two. So we're gonna get 10 points for each of these and then five points for the one that we reached the second level of. So that is gonna be 25. We're next gonna look at our patrons. So this is two points for each one that we reach at least level one. So that is gonna be six. This one is going to give us four points for every set we have. And we do have two sets, so that's eight. And then this one is gonna give us one point for each of these, so that is gonna be another two. So that is 16 points. Next, we're gonna look at our upgrades. So we got, oh, you know what? That was silly. I thought this one was points at the end, so I wouldn't have actually done that. So great part of solo games, right? So instead we are just gonna place that here. We're gonna remove those two points. So this is gonna be down to 14. I was looking at the five there, that's silly. So 25, that was 14. So this is going to be three, six, eight, 13. Cause why take two points when we can get five? Silly, silly Jen. Okay, we are going to look at the friendliness track. So we have two, four, seven, and 12. 12 and now we are going to look at our science cards and if we had any of those um victory point tokens we do not so that is going to be one and now we're going to get a half a point for each one of these tokens that we have left so um these friendly tokens and our traits so that is going to be one point so we have a total of 68 and now we will see what the AI gets. So the AI is going to score for each of their completed study tracks and their highest level. So they have completed one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. So they are getting 54 points for their studies. They will also get points for the friendly tracks. So they're gonna get two, four, seven. And if they had any of the point tokens, they would get those as well. 
So they have a total of, let's see, we have 54 for here and then seven for here. So they have a total of 61. That was close. <laughs> So that was the Fox experiment from Pandasaurus Games. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.